Zayden, if you could make the world a better place, what would you do? I'll make a funny joke. You <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a joke. Why did the farmer go over the farm? Why? Because he ate his, uh, he ate his cat. <laughs> So once a month, the Pasadena Elks Lodge hosts a bargain camera show. And since, uh, you know, obviously I'm into cameras and such, uh, every once in a while I try to stop by here and check it out. So let's go inside and see if there's anything cool in there. So one of the cool things I found here at the bargain show, the camera bargain show in Pasadena, uh, are some hand straps and some neck straps made by uh, this guy. <laughs> so if you wouldn't mind, tell us uh, a little bit about. What so you're these are Xander Creative's camera straps. They're hand done by me, and you have travel notebooks as well. And the really cool thing about these camera straps is if you're walking around. Doesn't go anywhere. And so you can find them on my website, xandercreatives.com, and they're all hand done by me. So you can find us on our social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, and all that good stuff. What gave you the idea to do this kind of thing? So the big thing about this is I love just to create things and make different things. And in high school, I kind of made these paracord bracelets. And then in college last year, I was like, oh my gosh, this might be a really cool idea to make them out of camera straps. And so I started that. That was my journey. And then I started meeting up with different people with their Instagram. And it kind of showed me like the different world of like how I can launch this and do different things with it. And so then now I'm, I help fund other entrepreneurs with this by donating 10%. And also, the best part about it is just getting to meet new people and collaborating and shooting new videos and creating different things like the people who are making this video. Very cool. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is where good camera bags go to die. As luck would have it, yesterday I came to the pharmacy because I was out of pain medication. And if you guys remember, last week I came in and uh, the doctor's office was closed. So I came yesterday and they told me my insurance wouldn't cover it until today. So the next day, tomorrow, right? I come back to the pharmacy, they haven't even done it yet. Lovely. Okay, well, while I'm waiting for that medicine to get uh, refilled, uh, I stopped in to see the doctor. So the doctor has my MRI results, and they're not good. Um, so apparently I have some sort of herniated disc where a fragment, a bone fragment, broke off. And that's why I've been in pain. It's because this fragment is floating around playing ping pong with my nerves. So that's why I've been in such pain and that really sucks. And she says I might require surgery. So that's kind of scary. And I'm waiting to see a neurosurgeon. And I guess we'll go from there. All right, well, I finally got the uh, medicine from the pharmacy. And you know, the pharmacist was asking why, if this was working for me. I told her, no, it really doesn't seem to, but you know, this is what the doctor prescribed. And she's like, why don't I, why isn't the doctor giving me gabapentin? I guess I'm gonna to have to bring that up with my doctor next time I see her. All right, so I just got a call from my doctor. Um, I got the approval from the insurance company for the referral to see the neurosurgeon. So 
that's great. On the other side, uh, she said she called the doctor to see when I can get an appointment, and they were saying not until like April 15th, which is still several weeks away. So, hopefully I can squeeze in sometime before that. That's kind of far, but anyway, good news. So I received a phone call from the doctor saying that I had a neurosurgeon appointment this coming Tuesday. So now I don't have to wait a half a month to see the neurosurgeon, it's great news. And hopefully I can find out exactly what's wrong with me, if I need surgery or not, and get it all taken care of and I can stop being in pain, which is going to be great. So I think that's going to wrap things up for me this time. Uh, if you like what you've seen so far, give me a thumbs up. And if you don't like what you've seen, give me a thumbs down twice. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that would help me out a lot. And uh, next time coming up, we've got some exciting stuff. I've got an unboxing. I've got a show with the Ramones tribute band Too Tough to Die. And it's also a Ramones art exhibit. So stay tuned for the next vlog. Alright guys, see you next time.